Hello everybody, welcome to a new video. Today, for my channel's one year anniversary, I will be doing another AI car video. And this one I'm going to be doing a chassis car, like I've heard some people say in the comments to do, so let's just get right into that. So first off, I'm going to be using this van model uh, that has been endorsed by Roblox. I really think it's a good model, we're just going to get into the game and I'm just going to show you uh, how to set this up into an AI uh, vehicle. Alright everybody, we are in game now, I have these vehicles with me, I'm just going to go delete these two since I do not need them, I'm just going to be focusing on one vehicle today. And just to show that the vehicle works, I'm just going to go and play test it, see how good it drives before we put the AI car script into it. Just get in, very nice, very smooth, I like it a lot, I do, I like the turning, but now, Let's actually turn this into an AI vehicle. Uh, so first off, we need to figure out how the how these scripts actually work in the car. So let's just just go down and look at the scripts of the car. So first off, let's look at the vehicle script. Let's see what the vehicle script has to do. Well, anyways, this controls all of the vehicle's functions communicating with the uh, car to the player. So we don't need that. Let's just go disable that for now. And then with that, now we should not be able to get in the vehicle. Let's just go try it real quick. It should disable the function of the player communicating with the vehicle. Uh oh, that's not good. All right. So you can see the car has lost functions, lost suspension, but we need to uh, get the suspension back and everything. So we're going to make our own script to control the vehicle. So let's just go ahead and go into scripts, add an object, let's go make a script, a full new blank script, and let's go start it out. So first off, what we want to do, we actually want to get the, the car and the chassis script that the car has. So let's just go and put, paste this code in. So all it does, it gets the car, it gets the script folder, it gets the chassis, um, and just does stuff with the vehicles so now if we go into game the vehicle should be able to get the suspension yep there you go the suspension works and the car actually looks like how it's meant to be so now it's actually time for the actual updating part now to test this let's first go over the values that the car has so then the chassis script has and has these two uh functions it can get because it's a module script you get the chassis steering and throttle now this will be sent to the module script that we have right over here and that script will control how the car moves so if we can update that then we got our car moving so now let's just go ahead and copy and paste some values into the script and this will show you all the values so first off these two you don't need to worry about and then we got this value which just gets the velocity and just puts it into the steering and throttle that's all right the main function you need to worry about is steer and throttle now we can just change these values such as i can just put the throttle equals 0 0.2 and then this group will get that plug it into the throttle's throttle function and send it to the vehicle so if we just go and run now the car should start to move yep there we go the car moves forward and if I make it move forward, update the throttle, and then after that, let's wait about one second. And after that, we are going to uh, make it steer. Sorry, wrong one. Steer. It would equal, let's say, 0 0.5. It probably does not matter. Oh, we put steer on. But let's just do 0 0.5, and let's see how it turns. As you can see, the, st the car starts to turn slightly, so we can control how far it turns. But let's not worry about that right now. Let's just worry about getting this car to actually be an actual AI car. We have all the values, now let's actually make it work. So first off, we want to make sure it can detect to turn and go left. Because in my last video, you guys complained that it was not an actual AI car since it was just following some bricks. So now let's actually make it fully autonomous. That it just works by itself let's just add this part over here this is going to be the part where it will turn left so let's just put it in it does not matter if it's touching anything because we will fix that one actually it does matter if it touches anything don't let it touch the car 
Alright, but let it be close to the edge of the vehicle. Oh, something like that. And then you can do the same thing on the other side. Just like that. Let's move this a little bit more out. Just like that. Now we have these two parts, and let's hope they are not touching, they are not touching the car. That one, yeah, we can move that a little bit more out. Now let's just go ahead and name this, whatever we want. So I'll just name this one left turn outer because why not I want to do the same thing for the other part by just naming it right instead of left there we go now let's just make sure we have the properties down I'm just going to make just for testing we're going to keep them visible I'm going to disable a collision and make it massless so it doesn't weigh down the vehicle. Now we can just put this into, let's say, the chassis model and make sure these all connect to the floor panel. We're gonna go to my little plugin over here and we're gonna click on the weld function. So now these products should all be welded. First off, I made these a little bit too high, so let's just go lower them down to the end of the tires, all the way down to where the tires end. all the way down do not hit the floor but kind of close to the end of the floor not too low let's put those up a little bit and let's just reattach these to the floor panel so now you can begin on making the path that it will follow if you can change the path it doesn't matter but i already have a pre-determined path since i've done this before I have tested myself before making this video to make sure it was good. This will be in the description below, just remember. So we have these two paths. Let me just put that in. Don't worry about the bottom of it. We don't really care. But as you can see, we have a track over here that has white lines. Well, you might be thinking, why does it matter that you have white lines? Well, this vehicle, we go along this path, and if it detects that it's going to hit a white line, it will turn away from the white line and go all across, across the line, hopefully not hitting any line. But now I have to script that in the part. So let's go back into our script over here, and let's actually go make that happen. Something like that. And inside of here, we're just going to put a simple script. You can change this however you would like, but all it does is first it'll just get if it touches something and then after that if the color is white it will change you can change that to anything you want as you can see part if the part the brick color is the white which is the color of the path then it will steer the throttle will still be the same and this will be straight the reason why we're having this in case actually we don't really need to have this but it's just fine but now we have that, it's pretty simple. Now we just have to duplicate it and put it for the other one. And just put it back in. Just like that. Oops, someone had something happened to my zoom. Let me just reset it. There we go. So we're gonna go to the, the right turn. And we're gonna up do the same thing except opposite since the steer over here was negative two, now it's actually two. And that should be mostly it if I'm not mistaken let me play the game and see how the car will react to its environment it hits it should turn it turns it turns it's not the best script but it is a script that I've seen work many times and as you can see it's just gonna keep turning until it hits another brick because I have not taught it not to do that but if I continue this path, it will go on until the path stops and it has and it cannot think for itself. I'm not saying you need what I'm doing right now, but it is possible if you would like to. It is crooked, the path is. I'm sorry about that. When I was doing my path, I had no sense of time. I had no sense of what it was doing. It should come out right, right there. It's gonna be fully good. You can just fix it. 
probably if you want to make this look better you can make these white parts invisible it doesn't matter if they're invisible or not the car will still detect it because it's using the on touch function but uh, let's just make sure that our car can move like that there we go you can change the speed and everything this speed might be a little bit slow for you but it's alright this car will be bouncing around not bouncing around but it will be swaying side to side as it looks for steering all right thank you for watching everybody uh hopefully you learned something all every all the models and scripts in the description below